Yaakov, Lo Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak, with Dash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Over the flock, Shalom to all you brothers out here pushing the words of truth and sincerity. Shalom. I stumbled upon two clips. You know, that's the spirit. I found one, but then a commercial popped up. And the dude basically mentions the chip. You know, or the properties that will come from the chip, which is tracking. So this is from a, um, a trailer of a Happiest Season on Hulu. And I'm not going to play it, but I'm just going to read the caption above. It says, what are you doing on the phone? Um, she asked him, and he's a member of the, you know, the alphabet community. She asking him, he says, a gentleman, if you can see here, let's see if I can get it out there. He says, a gentleman alone, I left a gentleman alone in my apartment, so I'm, um, hold on. So I'm tracking him to make sure he leaves. She says, you're tracking him? Yeah. He says, he says, yeah. He says, you're tracking him? She's, he says, yeah, I track everybody. If the NSA can, so do I. So, so I can, um, I can do it too. Um, you know, this is, this is 7.4 million people seeing this. It's slowly bringing out what they want. It's slowly exposing what they want in which all people is tracked. All people is, um, identified. All people is controlled by tracking a universal tracking system and a device that can track. So what's that going to be? What's that device going to be? Now, in this clip from Impractical Jokers, Parenting 101 Punishment, 3.3 million views four years ago, you'll see these guys clowning around about the chip as well. Now, he's talking to a parent. Par parent. This is supposed to be like a um, hidden camera show. So I only know he knows it's being recorded, that type of style. So he's talking to a parent, and look what he says to the parent. He said, you know what I did? I put a chip in my son. I am not going to play it because I know they're going to shut the video down. But he says, I put a chip in my son. And he goes on to tell her this. Um, so I know where he is at all times. It's slow. It's slow um, propaganda, man. It's slowly maturing people to the point where they can get them. It says I can stream movies, music, and movies to him. He says is is by Wi-Fi or whatnot. So y'all can check the clip out for themselves, for yourselves. All right, this is where we at right now. And that was four years ago, a year ago. It's constant, man. They're gonna hit you in the head, hit you in the head, hit you in the head with the same strategies over and over and over. Real quick, Second Edges fifteen and fourteen. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Well means destruction. All right. Very difficult times is ahead. The time of Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation. You're going to be tried. You're going to be tried. Some of you shall be cast into prison. Ten days. You shall be tried. All right. It says, for the sword and their destruction draw of nigh. What's that sword? Thermonuclear missiles. World War Three. Get familiar with these concepts. Get familiar with what Russia's doing over there on the border of Ukraine. All it takes is a Google search to be well informed about what time we're in. It says, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. So there's going to be a World War Three. This is future prophecy. It says, and there shall be sedition among men. Sedition means when somebody speaks um, against or pro and incite some type of riot or action to be taken against the government through your speech. It can be direct or indirect. So all throughout YouTube, these videos are getting taken down, all channels, because there's so much sedition. People are fed up with the moves that the, their governments are making because they can see a new world order forming. They can see their freedoms being taken away. All right. And there's, naturally, they're fighting up against and bucking up against their governments, causing sedition. It says, and invading one another. So there will be invasions. It says, they, you know, and I'm talking about war invasions. But there's going to be an ultimate invasion. That's when the Lord comes back. It says, they shall not regard their kings nor princes as sedition. 
and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. What are we dealing with right now as far as um, 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 the mark goes and as far as legislation goes? Well, New York um, legislation set for vote on January 5th, 2022, a few, uh, one, one to two weeks from now, one week from now, provides for indefinite detention of unvaxxed, un jabbed at governor's discretion all right now that's rumor but all you need is the rumor all you need is the rumor because that's staying ahead of the game um look at this it says a um implanted microchip could be used to verify covid19 vac status let's move on facebook takes that toward building metaverse opens virtual world app to everyone to see now this is kind of blinded the masses of people at the same time you see they still need their bread and circuses you see they still need their video games you know that's why during the titanic they showed that scene while the where the um the band was playing while the ship was singing and i could really see that happening well that's what happening right now in america <laughs> the band is playing all these entertainers and entertainment is still going on you can still laugh party go to the movies get married so forth and so on but the ship is sinking so they got the metaverse you're going to be linked up to a virtual world where you don't have to worry about the real world anymore because in the real world what's going to be happening and by the way you got camps out here that is con completely continually still teaching that the rfid microchip is a hoax that was seven years ago let's see if they change their story out Omicron variant has evolved to have all of the worst mutations, Alpha, Beta, and Delta combined. So they continuing to push that you need jabs, continuing to push that they got to lock down people, and continuing to push so they can push these laws and, and implement these laws and pass these laws to mandate if you don't have what they, you know, the latest jab. You cannot work, eat, go to work, travel, you gotta stay in your house, might as well lock them up, put them in a can. All right? They've been showing you how they want to, um, you know, put technology in it. This one says, Never Offline, Time Magazine. Never Offline. This came out in 2014. It says that Apple Watch is just the start. How wearable tech will change your life, like it or not. All right? Microchip. You will get chipped eventually, 2017 Los Angeles Times article. Biden confirms the agenda to microchip the masses. This happened way back in the day. You can see he was younger. All right. You can watch that video on Biden and the microchip speaking at his while well, he was senator. Elon Musk says the metaverse sucks and Neuralink will be better. Was Neuralink? Elon Musk said Neuralink hopes to start implanting its brain chips in humans in 2022. Why will Neuralink be better, according to them? Because it's more, um, it's more, um, it's it's along the agenda and the lines of the elites to chip everyone and everybody. If you watched the interview with Ann Russo and um, your boy Alex Jones years ago. And we also explained it completely in this in this coming to pass. Well, that's the mark of the beast, the Bible, long before Aaron Russo put these scriptures in there. You know. All right, so man that sh a man shall have a desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Well, guess what? How that's also gonna happen. Because you're not gonna have access, because you're not gonna have the latest jab, and furthermore, you're not gonna have the chip for those that don't have that. And that's why this is the beginning of the shutting down of the society. All right. It's just the beginning. All right. Now you go down here to um, Revelation 13 and 16. You It says, we always bring it out. And he calls of he's that beast made on the EU, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. That's everybody, everyone in any situation you in that rich doesn't matter to receive a mark in their hand or in their foreheads that no man might buy or sell what happens when you go to the supermarket very soon and you don't have your um latest jab 
can buy or sell. We see videos right now. If you've been paying attention, we got people in New York City have being arrested, locked up Panera Bread or different restaurants because they don't have their card and they're still ordering food. And they got the mandate that you need your card to order the food or eat there. When you go to Paris and in, in France, they got video of the police walking into the restaurants and carding people now digitally, pulling out some type of um scanner, scanning their phones and their digital passes to verify if it's correct. Um, to receive a mark in your right hand or in the forehead. So this is a digital physical mark that goes into your right hand or your foreheads. We just proved to you that it can go in your forehead as well. That's what Neuralink is all about. And that no man might buy or sell say that he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Man, we don't need, we don't need, we don't need for anybody else to be able to understand this or break it down. We wish, we hope that the, you know, you understand it. But even if you don't, the scripture says none of the wicked shall understand. So we're not going to be troubled by that. You know, we're not going to be troubled by that. So this is what's happening. This is the time we in. Remember that um, the Lord also said, um, I mean, it's also written, um, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Heavenly Father. So as you, you know, contemplating whether you're going to take a jab or not, uh, as you contemplating whether you're going to go ahead and conform to the rules that's coming, always remember, always remember that the Lord got a swift and fierce judgment for those that take the mark. In Revelation 14, he goes all into it. Lord Willens video is edifying. Till next time, Shalom.